what's up guys and thanks for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it i'm gonna try to keep my arm still i forgot my gimbal at home today's video we're gonna be talking about the gago 2 actually this is the gago 3 and the gago 2 as of about three weeks ago or maybe last month uh dj has released a new firmware that make the gago 3 backward compatible with the o3 air unit uh i would say he make the o3 air units forward compatible with the gago 3 that's something people have been asking for and finally dj uh, made it available so right now you can run the o3 air unit with both the gago 3 or the gago 2 and of course people are going to be asking uh is there is any difference as far as performance goes uh between those two gagos i'm not really expecting uh, much of a difference i would say if there is any difference, I would say maybe the Gago 3 may perform slightly better as far as penetration and range goes because the Gago 3 has two more antenna compared to the Gago 2. I uh, got my Apex drone, uh, that's of the O3 unit, uh, updated, so it'll be running with the Gago 3. And I got my little 6 inch long range uh, still connected to the Gago 2. Uh, I haven't posted a video about this uh, little drone. Let me know, guys, if you want to see a video about it. Uh, the thing that makes it interesting, it is a long range, six inch drone, a puller configuration as far as the model goes. All right, folks, so first flight, let's take off. And I do have my GPS on the long range drone. So that will give us an idea as far as distance go. Now I kinda already know what's the result of the test gonna be because this is uh I've flown this spot before with the Gago 2 and the Auto Air unit. Now I do have my channel mode on auto, and that is simply because I didn't do the M hack on the O3. No, I didn't do the M hack on the Gago 3. So we're gonna see the performance of the Gago 3 with the O3 air unit if it's gonna be any different than the Gago 2 with the O3. But I posted multiple videos with the O3 and the Gago 2 in this area and usually performance usually go pretty good and right now we got our beat rate about 20s 28s and i usually stop here and as you may see uh video quality is completely fine uh, no issue whatsoever and if you look on a white corner i'm about 93 meter away from where i took off so we don't really have any issues here. And you gotta think about this part. It's gonna be more like, you know, if you're flying and you know, you do some maneuver, freestyle flying, and somehow you have to pass beyond a small area, like beyond, beyond the building, uh, that's what it kind of represents. So uh, now let's go to the corner. And this is the corner. It is a gymnasium, a bigger building uh, made up of metal and concrete. So it kind of make it harder for radio wave to go through it. And right now you can see the distance from takeoff. We're about 170. And usually after we pass beyond the building, that's where we start having a little bit of issue with a transmission. You can see my beat rates going in the tens. Uh, we do have a little orange warning sun that came out on the screen here you go orange back again and right now i'm what 204 meter away from where i took off and i'm beyond the corner a bit right now is in a single digit so we're gonna keep going video is still pretty good video is still pretty good oh we're starting to get some break up on a video and i can definitely tell you that i'm getting a little bit of glitching or delay but as you can see uh pretty well i mean flyable we do have a little red alarm but you can see even though we're in single digits 
video quality is fine and now we're going to be going back up let me turn back again and let go back i mean that's just guys guys that just go to show you how good dji is as far penetration goes and that you you know that translate to if you're using a dji gago or dji system for long range you should get some pretty good performance out of it video stay pretty good we, even though we're in single digits we're gonna go back this way and we're gonna push the system a little more we're gonna fly on the other side of the school we should be seeing some drop on a bit weight but as I say, I've flown this path before. DJ is amazing. That's how penetration go. Uh, there is no better system for penetration than DJI. I'm flying Walksnet, I'm flying HD0. I don't even try to fly HD0. I uh, say so the only thing that I've come close to DJI is the Foxy Reaper, the 2.5 vtx that's analog but even with the foxy reaper you do get some image degradation it's nothing comparable to what you get on dji now i'm gonna come back i'm gonna land we're gonna take the gago 3 with o3 and we'll see if uh, we're gonna get similar performance or even better performance Oh, guys. Dago 3 with O3 Air Unit. Let's see how the performance is going to be as far as penetration goes. I'm actually expecting a slightly better performance with the Gago 3 since the Gago 3 has more antenna compared to the Gago 2. You got 6 on the Gago 3 and 4 on the Gago 2. Oh, quiet. Amber. And that's here. A first stop. And my OSD kind of seemed like it's all over the place. And that's primarily because I this is a freestyle drone and when I fly it, I have my OC set up for a 4-3 field of view. But for this video, I swap it to 69. So that's why the OSD seem to be all over the place. I'm just looking at this here. Uh, Bitrate seem to be much better than the bit weight with the Gago 2. We are actually in the mid 30s and low 40, which is actually amazing. But then again, I think with the Gago 3, we do have a lot more bit weights available to us compared to the Gago 2. With the Gago 3, if I'm not wrong, we can go up to 60 bit weights. And I'm running it uh, channel mode on auto and focus mode is off. Now I think uh, limit is 50. I thought it was 60 on the bit rate, so we are back to 50. Let us go around the corner, and that's actually where we have a lot more challenge as far as performance go. But I have flown the Gago 3 with the O3 I had a couple of freestyle flights with this drone and I have to say that I really didn't notice any drop in performance uh, we're gonna make a second stop a bit rate is in the low tens but we don't have a little orange alarm yet remember with the Gago 2 at this point, we already had the screen turning orange, but no orange. Oh, yeah, here you go. That's the first one. It just came and come back. 
So at this point, we're about 200 meters away from takeoff spot. From the takeoff uh, spot, we're gonna go here, and our bitway is in the single digit. We got a first red sign. You can see the video kind of struggling, but the system doing fun. I think the lowest bit weight was maybe five or four. Let me go back in there and I'm gonna stop a little bit on here. That's where the system seemed to be really struggling. We got five, six, five seem to be the lowest. If my memory served me well with the Gago 2 in this part, we got like uh, about three or two. And there we go. And you can tell because a little, we do have the orange warning on the screen, but we really don't have much of a red warning. And with the Gago 2, we had a lot of red warning here. So I would say, just based on my little testing here, I would say that the Gago 3 with the O3 air unit performance wise, the Gago 3 seemed to be performing slightly better, but it's not really, I won't say it's like big, big, big difference. And now we're gonna go around the school. Now the telemetry loss, you can see that is my RSSI. The 93 is my lean quality, it's completely fine, and my RSSI is just garbage. And again, beat rates, I mean, yeah. What we can say is that performance wise, it's definitely not worse than the Gago 2. I can say slightly better. And I'm just gonna come. And that has pretty much it for a little test. Uh, if you guys have any idea of how I can improve this test, just let me know. I'm open to a suggestion. But uh, my advice is gonna say, if you're someone that really, really do a lot of band, uh, bandos flights, you know, where you outside and you go inside the building, and if budget it's not an issue, I would say go for the DJI system. As far as penetration go, uh, the DJI system had performed all, all the other system, digital system definitively. It's much better than Worksnell and it's definitely much better than HT0. As far as penetration go, HT0 suck. But that just has to do with the way HT0 system work. Uh, the closest thing I say that came to the DJI as far as uh, penetration go is the uh, my high power VTX analog. I do have the Foxy Reaper. Uh, I do have the Hodge Tank Extreme. Uh, when I run those at 2.5 watts, they're kind of close to DJI. But even though I'll say the DJI is still better. But uh, that was my little test of the Gago 2 versus Gago 3. I hope that you enjoyed and I am going to let you go. As usual guys, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, don't forget to hit the comments. Uh, you are free to share this video with anybody you want to. So I am done guys, I am out and I will see you on the next one.